Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rayello. And Sashimi. And we are here with our second Endemic Life tutorial for Monster Hunter Rise. This is for the demo version, not the final game. Um, this one we're going to be going over the Endemic Lives that actually cover damage or do a status effect to the monsters. So, last one, our first one, we actually showed how to find them on the map and locate them more easily. So if you need any help with that, please refer to our first video. In this one, we are just going to be getting after the monsters and seeing what they do. So, first one, we're going to be covering flash flies. Let's go find some and see what they do. Alright, the flash flies work the same way they did in World. If you played that one, you can either activate them with A or hit them with your weapon and set them off. And they will blind your enemy, so hopefully they will not be able to hit you as easily. Definitely good if you're having trouble with a bunch of fodder mobs. These do work on bigger guys too, so if you just need some extra free hits, they're great for that. Yeah, or if you see someone in trouble, help them out and give them a chance to heal for a second. They can definitely save a life. Mm -hmm. So moving on to the next buddy, the Bomb Badgie, one of my favorites. Next up we've got the Bomb Badgies. So there are skittish little buddies here. You can actually smack these in the direction of an enemy and they will launch in that direction and start exploding. If they happen to hit, oh, you've got a group of them here. Let's see. Oh, I missed. If those would have hit our uh, buddy here, the, Iz the great Izuchi, they all would have done 44 damage to him at the minimum. Uh, they're great for little torpedoes, so if you see them around, be sure to launch them at your enemies for a bit of extra blast damage. They're good for that, as well as uh, they're just really fun to kind of look at, and they, they get so angry, and the fact that they're little ballistic bomb farty bags is just <laughs> one of the best things ever. So, Moving on to the next one, our next critter is going to be the trap bugs. Alrighty, so trap bugs, when you're looking for them on the map, are going to look like a little bush, a really dangerous little bush. So you see we've got all the little spiky bugs on the stick. Just grab those. These are best used against fodder mobs or if you're trying to escape from larger monsters. Let's see how that works. So when you use the trap bugs, you're going to use them just like an item like everything else. You will throw down a group of them. If larger monsters step on them, it does about 10 damage. Well, that was accidental. Goodbye. Goodbye, buddy. You're a victim of the tutorial. Sorry. So as you saw, uh, they just stepped... One of the big monsters stepped on the Caltrops, and that was it. They disappeared. So let's see what they do against fodder mobs. So against fodder mobs, they're actually much more useful, as you'll see here. They continue to take damage. They're taking about how much on your screen? About 10. So about, yeah. about 10 a piece. They get staggered every time. These do, however, stagger larger monsters every single time. So if you're trying to get away from a larger monster, you can toss some of these down and escape. It will make larger monsters flee from you as well as cannon fodder. Sometimes will flee from you, but as you can see here, they can be pretty stubborn with it. <laughs> So they just kept on until they died. So if you need to keep away some little Mizuchis away from a great Mizuchi, if you can keep the great from stepping on them, you can potentially keep his buddies away from him, but they do tend to stick so close to him that it's it's about impossible to keep them apart. So, But there's a bunch of different ways you could utilize these. They could just be fun. So let's check out the next one. He is actually right around the corner here. This is a really interesting, I think this is one of the more useful ones. This is the Whale Nard. So he's this little pheasant. So after you pick up one of these, this lets uh, you control the behavior of a monster. You can actually summon a monster pretty much anywhere you want on the map. So let's find a good strategic place to set up a trap. Alright, so the Whale Nard will actually summon monsters to wherever you set it, so if you have an area that you would prefer, like here, there's not too many monsters that'll really attack us outside the Nabara, but we do have Cutterflies here, which will bring up our affinity and make our damage a little bit higher, and this is an area the monsters don't typically come. 
So we'll go ahead and use the whale nard. What we're waiting for in the the cutterfly is kind of like your affinity booster from the world. You can't like put them in your pocket and move them, but you can activate it and it'll make a affinity cloud. You can grab and get some extra critical hits. Now this will summon the monster to exactly the spot where the whale nard was. So wherever it was, you can set up a trap. You can throw some bombs down. You can set up all kinds of ambushes. You could go to an area with, say, a lot of bomb badgies and throw the bomb badgies at them when you get them. So as you can see, if you look down at the map, the monsters have not started moving toward us yet. Oh, way too far. All right, so after that last one, it didn't seem like they came from across the map, so we've been doing some testing. Now you see there, the uh, the marker on the map actually, uh, that's Arzeros. He actually reacted with the bird. And if you look up, where he is? There in the upper right hand corner, you can see the little claw that is appearing underneath the question mark. That means he is en route to us. So for the call on the bird, it seems like you don't really want to go more than maybe two or three zones at the most away. So he is on his way to us. We're gonna go ahead and set up a little trap here for him. And we are here with our cutterfly, so as soon as he gets here, we can blow him up. Hit that cutterfly, get our affinity up, and then boom, you've got an ideal fight set up. So slow though. He goes all the way around the map before <laughs> he pops out. There he goes. He's in no hurry. Since he saw us first, he's of course going to go. <laughs> but as you can see, there's plenty of ways you can set up traps with this guy, so there's lots of stuff you can do to make your fights a little bit easier with this. Plan your fights and get the monsters exactly where you want them, rather than fighting them on their terms. So, let's get on to our next monster. Here's our blasty boy. We can pick him up, put him in your pocket, and go blow him up on a monster. So where's a monster? Oh, there's one right down here. Hey. Is that a Zuchi? No, it's a bear. I think he's getting pretty tired of us. I'm sure. He's having a bad day. Alright, so Sasha's gonna set down our blast toad. You can set him up, or you gonna sit right on him. He puts I up a puff of smoke. <laughs> oh man. How much damage did that one do? Uh, 140. So it does a lot of damage. It's like a, it's like two large barrel bombs. So if you're looking for a good amount of damage, oh, uh, you did, but that's okay. Me. So drop the the blast bombs. They will blow your enemy up and do a lot of extra damage. They will put out a puff of smoke that stays for about five to ten seconds. Lure the enemy into it if they didn't, if they're not in it, and you can blow them up that way. So let's scoot on to the next monster. Next up is the Poison Toad. So these guys are actually handy. Uh, as far as the big enemies, of course they can poison them, but for maybe some new hunters, folks that are new to Monster Hunter, um, you've probably gone and tried to break some bugs or kill some bugs, and they just shatter. Their bodies break into little pieces after you smash them, so let's show you a better use for poison. So for large bugs like these guys, there will be smoke bombs in the game, I'm sure. But these will poison the bugs. These can also poison you though, so be careful of that. But as you see, these guys are dead, but they're whole, so now you can actually carve them. Just be careful, like I said, you can poison yourself with the clouds, so don't be too close to the, the frogs when it goes off. 
And this will poison, you know, bigger monsters as well, do some damage over time, but figured I'd show you the bugs because it's a bit more of a practical use for it. So next up is another behavior, well, kind of behavior and status monster, the Puppet Spider. Ugh, it's a spider. Yeah, I'm gonna let you grab that one, sashimi. Look at him raise his little arms. Yeah, did he, did he yuck, yuck. No. Let's take this weapon, boy. Stick yeah. him in your pocket. Uh, no. Chuck him at a bear. We've got a, we've got something right oh, down here for the spider. So these guys, these these horrible little things, you just you just set it down. He spits a web at the monster and puts them automatically wait, wait, wait. into mounting mode. Did it hit him? <gasps> it no, missed it missed him. All right, round He's number two, up. and another miss. So the moral of the story, guys, is the spiders only shoot once. They only shoot in a straight line, and you're gonna wanna be sure that you've got that shot lined up. Let's see if we can make it the third time. All right, third time's a charm, and I actually thought it'd be better if we had a little bit of first-person perspective, so. I lost my spider privileges. There you go. The spider has hit him, and he's straight into riding mode. So one hit, you can take your buddy for a ride. And we're going to ride him on over to the next dude that we're actually going to be covering, the Stink Mink. Actually, you know what? Screw this guy. You can eat a cliff. <laughs> stink Mink time. All right, so we've got our Stink Mink right here. <laughs> oh, you me right. Up here, underneath, he looks like a little ferret weasel, so I have Arzeros' attention, Sasha's gonna grab him. This is like the old Challenger's mantle in Monster Hunter World. When you use it, she just used it, she's yep. all stanky. Oh. Now that she's gotten him, you can see he's got a little stink on his face, she's got a little stink on her. So she yep. is drawing. So he's gonna... yep. Keep looking at me. Now, unlike uh, a challenger's wow. manner, it does... Mantle. <laughs> manner. Manner. Unlike a challenger's mantle, it does wear off before you get hit. Uh, with the challenger's mantle, you could just kind of run around until you got hit. But this one, it will wear off. So it is good for drawing a little bit of attention. And I, I get to ride everyone today. But it is Ooh. good for grabbing the attention, and this can save some lives. So... I'm going to run our Arzuros back over this way, and... I think we're going back to camp. Alrighty, back at camp with the puppers. That should about do it for our monsters, well, our endemic life within the demo. That uh, will do either damage, some status effects, as well as some behavior control for the monster so you can control how the fight goes. So hope this helped you guys out. If you guys are interested in the blight monsters or the monsters that help with buffing, I keep calling them monsters, but Endemic Life that help with these things, then video 1 is going to be for the Blights, and video 3 will be for our uh, buffers and healing ones. So, hope this helped you guys out. As far as likes, subs, all that stuff, we appreciate, uh, we appreciate you guys, but it's up to you. What we do ask for around here is, if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home with you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it. And unfortunately, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love. So guys, show them what you got. And speaking of love, we love you. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. And we'll see you on the next one, hunters. Happy hunting.